Hi guys, this is a maker and slim, and I can assure you 2023 is gonna be a great year. In this message, God servant Bishop David Oedeko shares a very powerful principle that will help you live a most fulfilled life in the year 2023. Listen and be blessed. We lived in the office building in preparing this work. It has only one toilet. You pass through our city room, which is also the which also doubles as reception for the office to get there. Prepare thy work in the field. Make it fit for thyself and not to us be thy house. We could not rent a house of 5,500 naira in 86. Paranum. Mm. Prepare thy work. You may not look for land to build. Build what? Who will stay there? Prepare thy work in the field. Make it fit for thyself. For thy and now to work. Build thy house. When we got to Lagos, they found a building in, uh, what is it, the Keja. And this is 45,000 naira per random. I said, is it for sale? <laughs> no. I must not be found in such a house. No. I know fit. thy work in the field make it fit for thyself and not what build thy house yet by the grace of God my first commitment to rural church was 100 units 100 units prepare thy work in the field pleasure seekers end up dying under pressure They walk in the field. May you not know the first car I rode. <laughs> Full in wind conditions. <laughs> LAW 810. You have never seen it. Prepare thy work in the field, make it fit for thyself, and afterward build thy house. Your generation don't want to work no work, but they want everything. I confess, hallelujah, I claim, I cut it. <laughs> Amen. Well, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Glory to God. Will I ever rent a house till I go to heaven? Never. Never. As I begin to draw to a close, all what changes in history were offsprings of hard work and sacrificial labor it is pain the abnormal price that makes a world changer how many world changers are in the house today all around the world it's pain the abnormal price that makes a world changer for example no world changer no runs a normal schedule they are always in one class of their own no what changer possesses a normal habit the story was told about isaac newton how that the wife brought food to the table and then when it was not forthcoming he passed the, book, uh, the food back to the woman or whatever and when isaac came and looked at the table oh my god i forgot that i've eaten how many got the joke now breakfast is ready sir and then it wasn't forthcoming he was just busy he was dying on his table and by the time he came he found out there was no food on the table so i forgot that i've eaten walk has filled his tummy jesus said my mate is to do the will of him and send me and to finish his work to finish when work becomes like eating 
you're on your way to your high places. When work becomes like eating to you, you're on your way to your high places. When work becomes like eating for you, you're on your way to your high places. No work changer lives a normal life. There are many world changers here. You are one of them. Let me hear your loudest amen. No world changer possesses a normal habit. No world changer lives a normal lifestyle. It takes a global prize to generate global impact. It takes a global prize, like Jesus said, to generate global impact. I'm come to set fire on the earth, global. And what you like if you already can do. But I have a baptism of labor. How am I straightened until my mission is accomplished? No one can make the most of his life without coming out of his comfort zone. No one can make the most of his life without coming out of his comfort zone. Woe unto them that has ease in Zion. It's time to come out of your comfort zone if you must impart your world. In conclusion, let's look at Jesus, our perfect example. As we all know, he's the living word himself. In the beginning was the word. The word became flesh. Dwelt among us. His name is Jesus. So we know that he has revelation. He's the revelation himself. Jesus, the living word. Jesus, the living word. Jesus, the living word. And the word became flesh. Verse 14. And dwelt among us. We behold his glory as that of the only begotten son of God. Full of glory. The word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. And his name is Jesus. So revelation is no substitute for hard work. We saw Jesus giving the Holy Spirit without measure. John 3, 34. So anointing is no substitute for hard work. He's anointed with oil of glory above his fellows. It's no, it's no, it's no, it's no substitute for hard work. Jesus is the wisdom of God personified. First Corinthians 1, 24. The Bible talks about Jesus as the wisdom and the power of God. Jesus, the wisdom and the power of God. So wisdom is not a substitute for hard work. It's not a substitute for hard work. Jesus is the sanctified one. You can be sanctified and still live a frustrated life. Sanctification is no substitute for hard work. Who, which among you convinced me of hard of sin? No one. That's no substitute for hard work. That's no substitute for hard work. Yet he had to subscribe to the demand of hard work to fulfill his messianic ministry. Hear what he said. John 4, 32, 34. Disciples came and thought that somebody had given him food because he went to buy food for them to eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his works. My meat is doing the will of him that sent me and to finish the work he gave me. So that suspended his hunger. That feed his tummy. In John 5 verse 17, My father walketh either to and I walk. My father walketh either to and I walk. John chapter 9 verse 4, I must walk. The work of him that sent me, where it is day, the night coming, where no man can walk. You are in your daytime. Bend down and walk. 
you are in your daytime, bend down and walk. You are in your daytime, bend down and walk.